after this time I was extra careful when I put it in the oven. And I was putting it in and out of the oven like, like counting to 10, take it out, turn it up just a little bit, put it in, count to 10, take it out again. Um, an easy rhyme to remember. Um, so yeah, just in and out for like 10, 20 seconds at a time. And uh, everything's looking all right. I mean, this stuff dries really quickly. So I definitely want to do one side at a time because like I said in the other video, I didn't want this to still be all wet and damp, like, you know, soft. And then have to go like that when I do this side and then all that gets fucking squashed. So I think it was a good idea to do it in, in stages. As it's cooling down now, it's definitely getting uh, getting a bit stiffer, which is good. I don't know whether to say stiffer then or harder, and in my head I'm just full of innuendos and I'm thinking, oh, stiff, oh, hard, <laughs> like a penis. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Why well, don't I have to do a thumbs up at the end? <laughs> right, anyway, it looks cool. Okay, so I've done the handle as well. I wanted the handle to have like a proper grip on it. It was just uh, like flat. There you go. I'll do a little bit more to it. Then I've done the bottom. And that's really hard not to... Um, squash as I'm moving it around trying to do my thing because obviously you just tend to sort of grab the handle naturally so I'm going to pop that god almighty focus for fuck's sake there we go right so I'm going to pop that back in the oven now yeah just on a completely unrelated side note so no one else go oh no way when that happens because I do I once had to double loop you wouldn't think it would happen would you because it doesn't happen with Cigarettes, oh god, I'm out of breath. It's just exercising. <laughs> when I say exercising, I mean dancing. Uh, you didn't know, you know that, why have I said that? <laughs> uh, well, whatever, sometimes uh, I can't bother to walk or go on the machine, so I just dance my ass off. But um, it's all good. But yeah, look at that, I had a double loop once. But, but what's weird is that uh, it kind of goes up past itself know what I mean you think it would just sort of like curve perfectly and then accidentally hit its own body but it doesn't all right so one piece at a time seems to be working out pretty well pop it in the oven very slowly keep checking on it I really want to paint this already <laughs> I think painting is going to be the funnest bit <laughs> you touch something that's kind of well you know soft and almost damp without fucking you know ruining what you've done without putting fingerprints on it and all the rest you know and hair and all bits of dirt and stuff um, and then every time I put it flat down on the bacon uh, bacon tray not bacon tray bacon tray um, now I'm literally thinking about a bacon tray. Like, what would a bacon tray be? A, a tray made out of bacon. 
and then you just like cook. You could put like stuffing on it. And then when you're done, you take it out when the tray's nice, the bacon tray's nice and crispy. And then you roll it all up with like the stuffing inside. And then you just kind of like uh, serve it up like a, uh, uh, what do Americans call it? Like a meatloaf, you know? Anyway, I've got it on a right raised platform now, sort of, to try and get heat underneath and on top. I've got the oven at that. I'm just gonna put it in for like, this is, I know why I'm having problems baking it. It's because um, I don't wanna fuck it up. I don't want the gun to start fucking morphing and twisting, but you kind of don't know when it's gonna do that, um, which really doesn't help. No, just there. You can see where it's flat where I put it in earlier. So now there's just a flat bit there. I've squashed the detail. Ugh, it's a pain in the ass. It's a fun pain in the ass, but it's a pain in the ass. Right, so that's the side that I've just done. <clears throat> and I'll just put it in on that for about one minute, 20 seconds. And that's already nice and hard now, but well, that bit is anyway. And I thought, quick, take it out before it fucking melts. Plastic was getting very hot, but um, yeah, it should be okay. I'm gonna pop it back in. I'm just gonna let the gun cool down because I don't want it to fucking melt. And I'll pop it back in for like another, just under a minute. And hopefully it will all be nice and hard. <laughs> saying alcohol this, alcohol that. And I thought, well, it doesn't bloody work. And then nail polish or something, which is, because it's got um, yeah, acetone in it, which is what this alcohol stuff is anyway. Um, I was thinking, I know I definitely haven't, I'm not into DIY, so I definitely haven't got any sandpaper anywhere. I need some really soft sandpaper. But then even that's going to be a nightmare trying to get into all this and this with some sandpaper. Don't know about that. But then again, I don't know anything about sandpaper. If there's some sort of like sandpaper that will soften all of this and it's like a sponge, um, someone let me know. That'd be really helpful. Anyway, if you want a good music recommendation, uh, all evening I've been listening to like old 1970s porno music <laughs> on YouTube. God, it's fucking good. Um, when, I, when the album ran out, it took me to... It started playing the soundtrack to the film Fantastic Planet. Um, which I actually have over here. Which is also really good. If you're someone who likes 1970s porno music, <laughs> then you'll probably like this soundtrack... Fantastic Planet. If you've never seen that film, um, <laughs> uh, watch it if you're really into animation and you or, and or you like really trippy things. Um, it's good. So yeah, I've been listening to 70s porno music all day. It's fucking wicked. There's loads of like, really good groovy stuff. There must have been um, a lot of undiscovered 
musicians, especially bassists, who just wrote music for bloody pornos all day. And I'm guessing they did all the uh, soundtracks to those uh, black exploitation films, that sort of like Grindhouse cinema. Um, they probably did all the soundtrack to that sort of thing as well. Talking of that sort of thing, you've never seen a comedy called Black Dynamite. Uh, <laughs> go watch that, that's really good. I need to watch that again, actually. I've got that on DVD. I've only watched it once. I just suddenly remembered what the fucking storyline is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to watch Black Dynamite later. Right, let's put a little... I just want to stress that it's not anything dodgy, it's nothing racist or whatever, despite what I was just saying. It's nothing, um, don't worry, it's nothing dodgy, it's not fucking some dumb fucking racist comedy shit. It's more clever than that. Alright, let's put some more little doodles in there. Doodars, I mean these little scratches that I've sort of, well not um, not scratches, don't know what you'd call them, grooves, making grooves whilst listening to groovy music, it's been mostly my day today, I'm glad that this stuff just blends straight back into the harder stuff when it's been in the oven. So I don't have to, I was thinking, oh, I've got the super, scul super sculpy stick to um, already hardened super sculpy. Luckily it does. So it's been nice and easy doing it in, doing it in stages. I think painting this is definitely going to be a separate video because no doubt this one's another video is about almost pushing 15 bloody minutes. Um, my little Barney video I did the other day got about 400 views from just out of nowhere. The algorithm stuff is just so vague. I um, mean, just don't seem to, I don't know, it doesn't matter what you post or when you post, you, you just don't know what the fuck you're going to get in terms of views and likes and shares or whatever really vague right. almost done now please don't let this be the bit where I put it in the oven and this time it fucking melts so I will not be happy right really hard to stop. <laughs> There's so much detail packed into this bloody thing. Oh yeah. You see here, look. I keep fucking squashing it all the time. So I'm going to very carefully touch up the little squashed areas and then it's going in the oven. It's come out all right. It's still a little bit shiny here and there. Not sure why. Let me touch that. That's all right. It's just that alcohol stuff that was on it. But yeah, there you go. I'll try and think of a way to sand it down. Um, smooth it out, maybe, somehow. I don't know. Turns out I'm in luck because... I do have sandpaper. It's not the right grade, but it can be softened with excessive use. So I'm gonna go scrape this against a bit of wood until it's nice and soft. And hopefully that will do the trick. And now all I've got to do is paint the thing. And I've got some glossy varnish for when it's done to make it look all shiny and gross. 